Alrighty. We're back for part two of this. See the laser engraver, the 4K, 4K laser engraver. It's working its magic. I watched YouTube videos all week. Got on Facebook groups. They gave me some pointers. But you can already see I'm off just a little bit. So I'm going to have to adjust. I'm going to have to put some tape down so I know exactly where the start point is but I already did one it's on the other side I figured if I'm gonna scrap a piece of pe piece of wood uh, I'll use both sides of it so I have the laser power display at 20 um, I know you can switch it and change it I had it clear down to 10 and I'll show you here after this is done being done that it barely got anything done. Um, then I went to 15, it was a little bit better, but clearly 20, where it, it turns on at, is the best setting for it. Um, I am having no problem with the water pump. Now, I see why people say the smell is horrendous on this. I get it, but it just smells like burned wood. So, yeah, you might not want that in your house. You can see a problem in your garage. But I have a big studio. Okay? Well, not studio. Shop area. So, if it gets that bad, I can move this huge door and let some air in. I might even go and buy um, extension... So it runs clear over to the door, so I don't even have to open this, because let me tell you, it gets above 80 degrees outside in here. That doesn't exactly keep it completely cool, but it helps. But I'm sitting in here with, I'll have the, if I'm ever doing the glass, I'll have this fan going constantly on me. And then I'll have this fan just blowing stuff away. But now that this is my glass area, that's going to have to change. Um, I still have yet to hook this up. Haven't needed to yet. I've been actually off, not doing anything for a couple weeks. I, uh, I just haven't felt good. So I've just been working on the stock market um, so I mean this is just the beginnings I will pause this and then when the finished comes out well hold on let me show you all right so you don't need any expensive programs all you need is this K40, which is free. All right. And then this, what's this called? Uh, Inkscape, which is also free. Um, what you do is you open up your Inkscape, set the settings, and then you save it as a, um, you save it as an Inkscape SVG Okay, and that allows it to be transferred into the K40, which then in turn you can start printing. And this laser is strong enough to cut through the wood. So if I'm just printing, so that's a raster engrave, a vector engrave is... Um, when it's going to be cutting. Now the thing with that is, is before you bring it over to here, you have to have the red lines put in where you want to cut. So 
I'm not really messing with that quite yet. What I'm looking at doing is making these into boxes. This is also a really good video um, by Scorchworks. It was done in 2017. The machines are a little bit newer, but everything I just told you, I learned from him. Um, if I remember, I'll link his video down below. I mean, it's exactly what you want. I mean, that and you have to do some fiddling for yourself. But yeah, he goes through everything. Um, then we'll jump over here, Facebook. All right, so we'll go to my groups. Um, there's my store. There's my paranormal group. Um, so we'll go down and I sell a lot of stuff. I think it was in here that they helped me. The K40 laser machine group. And they go through everything. If you ask for help, they help you. Um, if you're lost at anything, and they give you hints, tips. They're real big and doing, uh, no, I don't think this is the group, but the other group that helped me, let me see if I can find them for you. So you know who to. Uh, they're real big in the leather. But you can basically tell they're the same group. They, uh, they even figured out a way how to carve into glass and make a turn, um, which is a bunch of money. Um, they engrave their own guns and everything. You're not supposed to be able to engrave metal, but they figured out how to. Um, they just They just have it all in here. I think my question's coming up, like, help me, help me. And then I got invited to uh, a group, yeah, see there, right there I am. And these guys went nuts on helping me. And, you know, like, I mean, without them, I wouldn't have been able to move forward with this laser engraver, because I was just, lost and you can see some people like just don't like what the other person's responses are and stuff and it's just like I hate that in groups but what are you gonna do um right now I believe I'm gonna try to just make boxes personalized boxes like you sent me three uh jpeg or png uh photos and I will engrave them for you and make them into a box for you so you can sit wherever for a loved one as you know so you can see a loved one or a cherished memory like I might make one of my father later who passed away a couple months ago so I'll let you guys see this when it comes out I keep looking down and bending over top of you, I apologize. All right, so I'm gonna pause you now. Okay, so I'm on my third printing, having to do some adjustments. I'm clear up to 35, I slowed down the printer, and we will see after this one, and it's still off. Huh, okay, but this is what I'm getting right now. So, and you can see I tried different depths as I went on. So, I don't know if it's the picture or what it is, but we're trying. We're going to get there, but I'm going to let you guys go. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down at the bottom. If you have difficult questions, get on that Facebook group that I showed you. 
and they'll help you all out. All right, everyone have a good day.